Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Corps. Glad you could join me today. As you can tell, we have some new decor at the Main Corps, and that picture there is actually the center of today's video. So we're going to be talking about actions speaking louder than words and being a man of action rather than a man of just words. So if you are new here, the Main Corps is a community built for men that are digging to the core of who they are to find out what it is that they really want and who it is that they really want to become. Please consider subscribing and joining the community to help build better men for tomorrow. We would love to have you as a part of the community. So again, the passage here behind me is uh, a quote from a Greek philosopher named Marcus Aurelius. And throughout the course of my posting of videos for the last four months, I have iteratively post, uh, posted about, you know, what my view on what Stoicism was. And admittedly, I was wrong. Uh, I actually used to think that Stoicism was about um, having no emotion at all, kind of being empty and really being unflappable and, and, and not being affected by, you know, really anything. So to kind of almost have that like empty depth about you. And that's what I, I thought that stoicism was. And there are parts of it that I think I just misunderstood because again, I was wrong. And what I've been doing uh, since I started the channel was reading about Greek philosophy and stoicism. And Marcus Aurelius was actually one of the, uh, one of the guys that, you know, back in Rome, he was one who took a lot of the teachings from Epictetus and a lot of the other uh, famous Greek philosophers. And uh, many of his statements and, and passages are ones that, uh, you know, you'll find in, in common Greek philosophy and, and terminology. But uh, this quote here is, is really something that, that stood out to me. There's a lot of different ones and uh, they get a little, you know, they get a little philosophic, if you will. But this one, I really felt like tapped into the purpose of this channel, tapped into what we're trying to do as men uh, who are a part of this community. And so again, it's going to be, you know, the theme of today's video, but the passage in it says, waste no more time arguing what a good man should be, be one. Like, I can't think of a better passage that really sums up the things that we are all trying to accomplish as men in life and also the world that we're living in. You know, it's 2019 and we're just surrounded by information. It's the information age where we're constantly barraged with information and, you know, products and services and these things will make your life better, make you lose weight. I mean, it's just a constant fucking stream of stuff that's just constantly being spoon fed to us all the time. And it's, it's really easy for guys or really anybody to, you know, to get confused about the, the proper way of living and beyond that, the proper way of living for themselves. So the reason I like this passage was because, you know, we're all experts and we're all think that we're experts or we're certainly being given expert advice about what it is that, you know, how to live a good life, how to be a good man, how to lose uh, or take better care of your body, how to get in better shape, how to, you know, earn a million dollars, how to have a private yacht. I mean, it's just endless, right? So I really like this quote because, you know, there's a couple of different ways that you could interpret it, but, you know, the reality is, or the way that I see it is, you know, it's not necessarily about, um, you know, doing one specific mapped out way of, of being what a good man is, you know, I think for the most part, we all know what being, what being good is. And I don't mean good, like, oh, good behavior, good boy, but just doing the right thing, you know, uh, from a moral perspective, um, treating other, the, treating others the way that you would want to be treated and, and displaying that not with your words, but in your actions, the order that I've gotten, you know, I've, I've really, understood the value and the importance of looking at what people do. I'm 35 now and I have to be honest, I, I don't really even listen to what 
people say as much as I look at what people do. And that is really the true litmus test of, of who, who you're really dealing with. Anybody can say anything. You know, we can all say that, you know, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm going for. This is what I'm achieving. You know, we can kind of hide behind that facade, you know, just as easy as I can post this video from middle America without, you know, any kind of filter. Um, this even includes me, you know, it's, we all have a good understanding of what it means to be good, but in a world where we can share our opinions in an unfiltered way, it's really hard to really know what's best. So what this is saying is, you know, don't get caught up in all the stuff that is distracting and all the things that you see around you. The real, the real true test and the real, what really fucking matters is tapping into your core and tapping in here and, and really knowing, not only knowing what's right, but also doing what's right. It's in the do that makes people either successful or not. It's in the do that makes all the difference. I can say that I'm building a big business. I can say that I'm, you know, achieving great endeavors at work. I can say that, you know, I have this amount of money. But, you know, it's my actions that would really display that. I mean, I, I think that we we could all think of at least one or two people or a handful of people who are what we would consider just full of shit. And, you know, they're all talk. And everybody's trying to, you know, get their two cents in and, and you know, let the world know where they're coming from. And uh, it's important to let people voice that. But at the same time, it's also important that we not forget what it means to be good morally and what it means to us to be good. So not participating in, you know, all the debauchery that you see out on social media and, and the stuff that you see on CNN and, and, and are constantly being fed a, a stream of, if you take in a, a daily digest of that, like, I don't know if you talk to anybody that watches the news every day or that picks up the paper every day, they tend to be a little bit more on the dramatic side. And it's because, you know, they've conditioned themselves and it, it, that's, that's the daily dose that they get. You know, news doesn't sell stuff that doesn't, you know, turn people's heads. You know, the, the fact is, is that they're looking for they're looking for you know more engagement from their users. So CNN is looking for more engagement on their platform. They're looking for page turning, uh, dramatic, uh, emotionally charging articles. That's what draws in views. That's what their advertisers get paid on. I mean, that's that's the facts. That's the reality. It even happens here on YouTube. Um, you know, sex sells, drama sells, all that stuff. That's why we love reality TV. So when we constantly have all these streams in social media and TV and movies and media, it's like, where, where do I go and, and, and how, how, how important is it for me to really understand or do I even understand what it means to be good and, and what actions do I take? Uh, I think that by and large, most, most people, they kind of participate in just, just the, the verbalization of it. To be frank, I used to be you know, a huge bullshitter. You know, the, the story that I was not only telling others, but certainly telling myself, uh, wasn't true. It was, it was all a lie. And when push came to shove, my actions didn't match up with that. So, you know, it's really conceivable to now understand why I didn't really feel like I was complete or fulfilled or moving forward because it, it didn't match up. It was not aligned at my core. And you know, there's a lot of unhappiness and there's a lot of uncertainty in the world. And, and I think that that's because the people are doing more talking and less doing. Um, you know, it's, it's certainly harder to do, but you have to, you have to understand that your actions are the barometer that, that really are the true testament to who you are. So, you know, if you don't think that it's right to uh, treat people in a certain way, or if you don't think that it's right to engage in, um, you know, affairs outside of a marriage or a relationship, and yet you still do them, you know, what you're ignoring is an internal voice that says to you that, that, that that's wrong. You know, if you're embezzling money, or if you're doing drugs, if you are, you know, breaking rules 
on the outside that you know internally are not good, like if you were being you know totally transparent and honest with yourself that they're not good and you still do them anyway, that, that creates a conflict and, and you have years of that. Well, okay, now it's easy to see why people are not happy, why they tend to end up in places or circumstances or in relationships that are not fulfilling or meaningful or have any kind of you know certainty to them because you know they're they're not really centered and they don't really they haven't really tapped in or understood and taken like like an internal introspective look to see that you know you, they actually have all the answers you have all the answers but it's turning an ear to those to that internal voice and turning the volume down on all the external shit. And it's hard because again, we live in a digital age. So back to what I was mentioning here about the quote, you know, it's about the actions. It's about, it's about what you do, not what you say. And you know, if you're, if you're really trying to go somewhere in life, or if you're really trying to achieve success, if you're really trying to uh, become a better man, you have to cut down on the talk and it's less, it's going to be less about chatter and it's going to be more about what you do. Uh, and the order that you get, the, you know, you're going to understand the value of, of looking at what people do. Um, if, if, if you, if people say, oh yeah, you know, I, I treat everybody the same, but then, you know, when you spot them and then their actions don't match up with that. Or if they say that they're a faithful person and you see that their actions when they think that nobody is watching are unfaithful or uh, irresponsible, you have to look at that. You can't, you can't ignore reality. You can ignore the, you know, you can ignore reality as it is, but you can't ignore the consequences of ignoring reality. And, you know, the actions will tell you everything that you need to know about the person that you're dating, the boss that you have. Um, you know, the friends that you have in your life. They can tell you and they can blow smoke up your ass all day long. But if you're not looking at what they do and you're not, and you're not taking that at face value, you're going, you're making a big mistake. I've done it. Um, and this quote to me is really important because it really kind of encapsulates everything that we're doing here. So, as I mentioned at the top of the video, you know, stoicism is something that I have been reading more and more about and was originally wrong about thought thinking that it was, you know, had no emotion and basically you were like a fucking stone, like unflappable, like you had no emotions whatsoever, just kind of like that cold, uh, empty space. And what I now understand it to be, and I'm, I'm going to introduce a book here that I, I want to recommend to you guys. What I'm learning is that Stoicism was really a, a way for people to understand that the things that happen externally and the things that, going on, that, that go on around you, while are distracting and enticing and can lure you in, they're all distractions away from an internal voice and, and an internal focus that we must all be present with. And... I think it speaks to a lot of the unrest and a lot of the uncertainty that we have today because people, they don't do that. Uh, they're listening to all the opinions and they care too much about what people think and they invest too much time into, you know, trying to get people to like them and trying to dress a certain way, try to drive a certain car, you know, be a, a, of a certain socioeconomic status and they don't listen to what's important to them and, and, and what being good and good enough means to them. Uh, we have a real problem with self-esteem and, um, you know, it's, it's really negatively affecting every area of our life. And if we were more about the actions and the actions that are consistent with being a good man, uh, that are a good man to us, if we were about actions, I think individually, if men were that way, we would solve a lot of problems because again, we are the leaders we are to be going forward and you know carving our own path leading the way we are leaders we're natural we are by and large between the two sexes men are supposed to lead and we have to lead by example there's a reason why they say lead by example show people by your actions not just by what you say now the book i'm going to introduce here is uh one that has a daily 
uh, passage. And again, it is called The Daily Stoic, and it is by Ryan Holiday. He's wrote a couple of really good books, Ego is the Enemy, and um, I think there's, uh, there's another one, I can't remember, but he's a... He's a well-known, very, very smart, very sharp guy, young too. He helped Robert Greene with the uh, 48 Laws of Power and, um, oh, Obstacles Away. That's another one. But anyway, this book here, D The Daily Stoic, is 366 meditations on wisdom. And it's not meditations like sitting barefoot, smoking joints, not anything like that. Basically what it does is it gives you a, a, a passage from Greek philosophy for each day and it's usually, you know, a couple sentences long and then below that he will have his, he'll, he'll really convert it into something that's really digestible to just the layman like you or me. So, you know, I'm probably, a, probably 25% of the way through the book because we, you know, we're about 25% of the way through the, through the year and I really, really like this because it's just a little bit each day. And, you know, we talk a lot about investing in ourselves and what that does for us and how it stacks in our favor in the long term. And why I like this is because it's not a sit down and, you know, you have to invest a lot of time in it in one sitting. And there's, there's value to reading a book that way. This is just a little bit each day. And, you know, statements that really... They stand out when I, after I read this and then I go into work or I go on about my life, like I see these things and they're happening around me all the time. And because I'm aware of them, because I'm, you know, in, in touch with what's going on internally, um, I'm in a much better place. And it really, it's pretty eye opening to see how relevant even these are, even though the writings that uh, were covered in some of these patches were over you know, 2000 or yeah, about 2000 years ago. So it's crazy to me that even now they're still very relevant and they are absolutely very relevant. Uh, I will link this book below so that you guys can pick up a copy of it again, three or uh, the daily stoic, uh, 366 daily meditations on perseverance and the art of living. Very good book, incredible read. Uh, I would not waste your time. And uh, I would highly recommend that you guys pick up a copy um, that, uh, that print actually came from the daily stoic store. So Ryan has a couple of like little medallions and, um, uh, passages that, uh, they're all der derived from Greek philosophy. But, uh, again, I'll link to the link in the show notes below where you guys can get a copy. And, uh, I would love to hear your thoughts, your feedback. If you guys have studied philosophy, if this is something that, um, you'd like to see more videos on whatever, please share your comments, your feedback, likes, dislikes. Um, I'm always, uh, delighted to hear from you guys and, uh, really do appreciate all your feedback. Um, please like the video, share the video and do share the channel with anybody that you think would be a good contributor or would value a lot from this channel. We're building community here. So, uh, I would appreciate your help in doing so. Uh, I have to run, but again, look at what people do, look at their actions, and yourself. Be a man of action, not just of words. Cheers. Thank you.